Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. I am Coach Julia, and today I wanted to talk with you a bit about choosing a figure skating instructor. Often, at some point, skaters decide that they want some one-on-one -on -one skating instruction. And this decision is incredibly important. Who you work with is incredibly important. The relationship between a skater and their coach is central to a skater's experience in the sport and often has a direct link to how long a skater stays with figure skating. An instructor is not only responsible for making sure that that student is learning correct technique with all of their moves, but they need to help keep that skater on point with any testing and competitions if that's something they choose to pursue. They need to help that skater stay inspired and motivated and challenged and help them develop that lifelong love of the sport. A skating coach is an instructor, a role model, a support staff, a cheerleader, and often so much more. My relationship with my coach began almost 30 years ago. She is one of the people I esteem and value most in my life. She not only instilled in me great technique and understanding the parts and mechanics of each move, but she has been a mentor, a friendly ear during difficult times, a cheerleader of my successes, and during my teen years, she helped me feel valued and recognized. To this day, she pushes me to be my very best, and I know that I not only owe my longevity in the sport to my skating coach, but she has also helped me become the woman and the coach that I am today. I am so fortunate in having found a truly great instructor, and I hope that each of you can find someone who can not only teach you the skating skills, but can inspire you to be your very best. There are many factors to consider when choosing a coach, and I am just going to summarize a few key things that I think you should look at. Now remember, there's no right or wrong answer for any of these. Every coach is gonna have different experience, different skills, different qualifications, and they're gonna match up perfectly with some different students. So you just need to get information so that you can make the right decision for you or for your child. Let's start with personal achievement. A coach's level of personal achievement is an important indication of his or her knowledge and experience with respect to different disciplines within the sport. What is the highest level test they passed? What's the highest level of competition they've done? Do they have experience with synchronized skating or pair skating or ice dance? Did they go do professional shows? Obviously, the higher the test a coach has passed, the more experience they have and the more likely they will be able to have sufficient knowledge to coach a skater up to or beyond any given level. A coach with a lower level experience can still do a great job though of preparing a skater with their basic skills who can then transfer to a more experienced coach for higher level training. On the flip side, it's also important to keep in mind that not all those who skate well have the skills to coach well. They are not the same. People can skate exceptionally and not have the tools to break those skills down into an instruction format. So personal achievement is just one area that we wanna look at in choosing a skating coach. The next thing you wanna look at is that coach's education background. Education is important any endeavor and figure skating is no different. Given all the responsibilities of a coach, who wouldn't benefit from further education in psychology or kinesiology, sports medicine, nutrition, maybe they have extensive training in dance or music or fitness training. These aren't a requirement as a coach, but they definitely are a bonus. Beyond academics, a good coach will also try to continue their education within the sport. They may continue to take instruction from more senior coaches, pass more tests and certifications. They can join professional organizations that offer conferences and seminars where coaches can learn from top experts from around the world. Here in the United States, coaches can join U.S. figure skating, the ice sports industries, and the Professional Skaters Association, all of which offer coaches opportunities for continued training. 
The next thing we want to look at is their experience as a coach, which is kind of another form of education. How long have they been coaching? Are they a full-time coach? Do they coach part-time? What levels of testing have their skaters achieved? What's their skaters' greatest accomplishments? Now, once again, remember, there is no right or wrong answer here. The important thing is to communicate with that coach, find out what their areas of expertise are, and see if it matches up with your goals. Perhaps you're a beginner, then it would be great to find a coach who really is good at breaking down those basic skills so you can understand them. Or maybe you have just transferred to a new club and you're looking for someone who's gonna take you to the next level. Then you need to find someone who's gonna be really good at those fine tuning, those high level techniques. Maybe you wanna learn ice dance or synchronized skating or artistic skating. You just need to communicate with that coach, find out what their area of expertise is and see if it lines up with what your goals are as a skater. Ratings are another valuable measure of a coach's knowledge and ability. Find out if the coaches you're interested in have gone through the coaching training through either U.S. Figure Skating or ISI, or if they've taken the ISI judging certification tests. Those are all great measures to see if your coach has done any extended education. In addition, the Professional Skaters Association has a comprehensive system of rating examinations for coaches. The ratings are based on both written and oral exams, and the coaches who take these exams must stand in front of a jury of highly qualified coaches and answer detailed technical and philosophical questions about skating technique and coaching. Once these ratings are earned, they must be maintained through continued education. If you can find a coach who has PSA ratings, you can be assured that they not only know their stuff, but are continuing to work on improving their coaching skills. The last thing to consider is that coach's personality and fit with you or your child. This one is hard to define, but it can be a make or break for a skater coach relationship. There are a number of things you can do to try to find the right fit. If you're in a group class and you really connected with a coach, that's a great indicator. You can also go to the rink and observe the coaches teaching other skaters. You can set up an interview with a coach you're interested in. You can also set up a couple of trial basis lessons to see if you and the coach click. Just be sure to express to the coach that you're still making your choice so you aren't locked in with that coach until you're sure. Choosing a coach can be simple or complicated. Just remember, you're not making a lifetime commitment here. The coach that's right for you today might not be right for you in a few months, and that's okay. Skaters do occasionally change coaches. And if you do find yourself needing to change coaches, just be clear and communicate with your existing coach before you make any changes. But if you're like me and you find the right coach early on, you may find yourself sticking with them for decades, and that is wonderful too. Either way, with a bit of research, communication, and patience, you can find the coach that is right for you. All right, skaters, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do give us that thumbs up. And as always, I always look forward to reading all your comments in the section down below. If you haven't done so yet, then hit that subscribe button down in the corner and the little notification bell so you can see all my videos when they come out. Happy skating, and I'll see you next time.